Yo, bro, so I might have just found the best way that you can defend yourself in a street fight using boxing. And how can you defend yourself? I'm not encouraging any street fight, but I might just... I just had this epiphany, okay, and I want to share it with you. Let me first demonstrate it, and I'm gonna explain to you later. How? So the principle is this, in a street fight you want to make sure that you ensure as much as attack as possible as well as defense. So to, to simultaneously execute on the offense and defense, you have to break things down. What is defense? Defense is at a fundamental level, not getting hit, okay? How do you not get hit? Either one, you block the opponent punches to other parts of your body. Uh, you don't get hit at all through footwork, footwork and you know distance maintenance. All about that later, but I think the best way is to not get hit at all. The best type of defense is not get hit at all because when you're not getting hit at all, the question then becomes, how do you attack at the same time? Because the opponent will be still coming at you. You're not getting hit, sure, but you want you want to make sure you hit. You want to make sure you attack, so that you know. Sometimes offense is the best defense, but imagine offense and defense combined in a technique. This is where it goes. You pivot, okay? You, especially in a street fight, it consists of people who don't know how to fight, so they don't know about things like pivot. All they know is the front of front fighting, maybe some little takedowns, and you know. Uppercut slips, all they know is that they are not aware of the pivots, right? So, what is pivot? Let me show you. Here is the pivot opponent facing at me, and I'm just like, he cannot hit me. He's facing this way. But I'm facing this way, and I move here. So, while my opponent is facing that side, I'm over here. His hands are hitting that side, but I'm here. And when I turn to this side, I'm moving in. It's crazy, bro. The best part about this is that it covers the number one mistake that people make in street fights. They let their guts down. Often this happens to people who train for boxing as well. Their instincts kick in during a street fight. They let their guards down. But it's the best of both worlds. Because in this technique, you can actually let your guards down and throw a powerful hit without the perfect form. Maybe you still get your guards up, but it's not up. Maybe when you're throwing, you let your hands down, but it's still up. You know, it doesn't really matter. You're not on the way of his punches. Now, this may not be perfect, haven't tried it yet, but this makes logical sense for me. But if you guys are more experienced, let me know your thoughts on this, bro. Because it will be really, really, really good if we could, like, become more aware of this boxing technique, yeah? So, drop your thoughts down in the comments. Maybe some people will contradict this technique, but it will just be an education for all so that, you know, at the end of the day, we can prioritize our safety from uh, streets fight. But at the end of the day, the best way to handle a street fight is to run away. So with that said, improve your life better, one step at a time.